Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we'll be talking about a collaboration done with Nike and Ambush, this time on the Nike Air Force One Lows, and this is in the pine green colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification box we do have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store today we'll be talking about one of the colorways that released on the collaboration done with ambush and nike on the air force one lows we'll go through the overview of these jump into size and fit followed by how i style this really bright pop of color then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market so let's jump right into it this is not the first time we have seen yoon at it with nike on a collaboration so i was really excited to see what she was going to decide to do on this nike air force one low so again this is in the pine green colorway as you can see the entirety of the upper is completely covered in that pine green color scheme all over the leather and then we've got the air force one little toggle here and what appears to be kind of a yellow greenish colorway, but it's more of a pastel yellow, which I really think is very complementary towards this pine green. We've got currently a monochromatic feel for the green laces, which really blend perfectly with this tumbled leather tongue, as you can see on the back. Really high quality tongue, I will say. They did use a nice quality leather on this tongue. Ambush is on the tongue at the top here. Again, in that accented yellow colorway with the Nike swoosh for the dual logo. Uh, so let's take a look at those details and then move along to the side paneling. All right, so wrapping around the side panels, uh, we've got completely uh, mostly covered and the side paneling is mostly covered in that pine green colorway. One of the coolest parts of this collaboration, which we've seen on other Yoon collabs with Nike is this extended kind of 3D looking swoosh mark, which is again in this really nice yellow color scheme. On the back, we've got the collar, which is also in that light pastel yellow. And then again, that other swoosh is also extending past the heel. On the back, we've got the 3D Ambush logo, which extends off the back of that mudguard as well. And then uh, the interior is in a yellow and green color scheme. And the sneaker is completed with a pine green midsole and a pine green outsole. And if you're not feeling those green laces, which I think I'm definitely probably going to do a lace swap and swap them in for this pastel yellow, yellow colorway. All right, so let's take a look at all those details.
As far as size and fit goes, I would highly recommend sizing down in Air Force Runs, which they tend to run quite large for myself. So typically a size seven and a half, I went with a seven this time around. I do have high arch narrow feet. So do uh, think about what type of foot you have before deciding on what size will work best for you. Specifically, if you have flatter, wider feet, that could work completely opposite from my own. All right, so now let's talk about styling. Again, really just fun pops of color on this one. I love the light pastel yellow with this bright pop of green. So I definitely want to play off the green in the first look i wore a green trench coat with a set of sweatpants that match in this light yellow colorway which i think was kind of the perfect dual combination color option for that first look Christmas is coming, the snowflakes will be falling, it's the most wonderful time of year. So hang up your stockings, put the tinsel on the tree, because Christmas is coming, my dear. Time of year, the on the second look, decided to wear a nice knitted sweater with a floral print that had a green and yellow colored flower. And then I layered that with a green plaid button down. And then for the bottoms, I wore some cream cargo pants for a nice casual, comfy look. You can't see them on the sleigh ride across the sky. Gather all your family round or go out and paint the town. It's the only time of year the whole wide world turns upside down. So baby, light a fire and we'll toast the night away because Christmas is coming our way. And over the last and final look, decided to wear a yellow furry sweater, which I think was the exact match of the color that they used on the sneaker. And then for the bottoms, I wore just some simplistic green dress pants. All right, so you let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you style at least? currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $190 and they're currently, depending on your size range, going below retail to $240. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. Be sure to hit that subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you all next episode.